Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Anna Jolene and I'm the author of the Glorium C series as well as the Mingray's Beach series. So I'm here today to do my June kit lineup and what's different about this month is that I'm actually going to be showing you the kits that I'm going to be using for two planners. So as you guys know, I do my memory planning um, and that is in this planner right here, my A5 wide. So I have plan with me's on all of these and this is something that I do at the end of the week. So, so I like to have my kits picked out for this planner and as you guys have seen, if you've been following me for quite some time, I use this insert from my shop. It's the three box grid in the A5 wide size and I've just kind of decorated it with washi and these stickers um, and that's how I've been keeping track of the kits that I'm going to be using for the week and then I can keep them actually in here. So I do have a whole video set up on how I've organized this whole entire thing so I will leave a link to that up here if you guys are interested in seeing the whole process but this month um, since I've started to use a B6 Stalogy this is what I'm using for my shop I've started to sell physical stickers in my shop and so I started using a Stalogy here in order to keep track of all those different tasks that I have so I'm also using kits in this guys so um, if you guys haven't seen my setup video on this, then I will leave a link to it down below. So what I've done essentially is made another tracker. So this is the floral version. So it's called the Kate Floral in my shop. And what I've done is I've just added a little bit of Simply Gilded washi tape there. And then I added the months there in the scripts. And then again, I did the whole same thing as the previous one that I did was I used these stickers that say like week one, week two, and so on and so forth to break up the months. And this is what I'm using to keep track of my B6 allergy. So this one is just the plain um, scallop, the pink scallop grid. And then this one is the floral, Kate floral in my shop. So this is the other version that I have in my shop. So I did this until November. Um, and then I'll be using this to help me track what kits I'm going to be using in this. So essentially I have two sets of kits to show you this month. One for the B6 allergy and then one for my memory planner. So what I did was I purchased some more albums from Simply Gilded. They haven't arrived yet and so what I did was I just put the kits that I want to use for June in my B6 allergy in this for now it's not going to stay in this one so when my order from something gilded comes in i will move all of that and maybe i will set up another album with you on camera so you guys can see how i do it but i just kept them here at the back so that um, they can be protected throughout the month so let's get started I'm going to be flipping back and forth between these two because this one's for my memory planner and then this floral one is for my B6 Stalogy. So I really like these. Once again, if you guys are interested in these inserts, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off of your order. So let's get started with the kits that I'm going to be using for my memory planner. So we'll start with this one first. So for June, um, for my monthly, I'm gonna be using my Mason Floral. So this is a kit from my shop. If you guys are interested in purchasing from my shop, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. So this is one of the floral collection kits in my shop. I have several of these floral kits in my shop, both in the monthly as well as the vertical weekly kits. So this is one of the monthlies that we have. So my kits only come with a decorative sidebar. When I did a poll, most people said that they wanted a decorative sidebar rather than a functional one. So that's the only option that I kept in my shop. However, if you guys would like to see a functional sidebar option, do let me know and I'll be happy to add that to the shop. But this one has the beautiful girl there and I really love the florals. Um, there's a lot of butterflies in this kit. So if you guys are a fan of butterflies like I am, then you'll really enjoy this kit. So all my monthly kits come with these four pages and then you can also add on the monthly scripts. I'll talk about that in a second, but let's start with the first page here. So all of my kits start with a Sunday start. And the reason for that is because I do have my monthly inserts from my shop that I use. 
Um, so this is what may look like using my blossom kit. I have a plan with me video on this. So if you guys want to check it out, you can. But this is available in my shop, again, for the A5 wide size. And I do have the Sunday start. You guys can use this in the Erin Condren planner as well or any other 7x9 planners. Um, you may need to tweak it just a little bit depending on what planner you're using. But these monthly kits will obviously fit in my inserts perfectly. So you do get the beautiful floral trim there, which I love. And as you guys can see, the month is not actually on there. So you can purchase the month separately. And this is an add-on. You only need to buy the monthly scripts once because you get the whole year's worth. So I don't just give you just the one month that you're in. I give you the whole sheet so that you can use this for any month that you want. So that is really nice. I really like that. So back to this page, you get an array of the boat icons from my shop. So these ones are a little bit smaller than the regular boat icon sheets that I have in my shop, the quarter sheets. And that is just so that you can fit them on the smaller labels here. So you have an array of different ones already included in the kit. You also have some payday flags, plenty for each week if you get paid each week. Then you have for full boxes in all the different colors and then you also have full boxes that are a little bit whited out so you are able to write in them and then you have some half boxes here as well and then you also get your date numbers included. Here you have some more boxes, several bill dues and these here are actually scallop boxes so they're a little bit more decorative and they will match the inserts. Then you have some scallop corners here once again and page flags and then at the bottom here I give you two sets of the bottom washi in this case you do get the floral background on it which is really really pretty so I made sure to give you a ton of labels in case you guys want to do your budgeting in your monthly planner which is what I sometimes do as well and then this here is actually scallop washi so you can use this to block off certain days for example if you go on vacation and you want to mark that down somehow, you have that option there. So once again, the kit comes with the four pages and your free sidebar, and then also your monthly scripts is an add-on. So that's the kit that I'm going to be using for my monthly. And then let's get into the week 22. So um, to kind of go along with that, I do have the vertical weekly kit that matches the monthly. So this is the Mason floral. And what I've done is I've added some overlays from rose colored days in the fancy frame gold. And I do have the add on sheet because I do want to use the florals in this kit. So I just love this kit. I think it's perfect for the spring and summertime. I just am in love with this kind of blue color. So I think it's really pretty. And then you do get an extra box here. You have your date covers, habit trackers, chevrons to layer with, and your split bottom washi. I just love this pattern here at the bottom. So pretty. And then here you do get two sets of weekly sidebar. And then you have three sets of headers, your checklist flags. These are all different sizes of page flags so you can layer with them. And then at the bottom of each page, you do get the scallop headers with the scripts on them so they do say different things this is your functional fancy box page so you have some scallop headers here some minimal ones some fancy frames as well as your scallop corners and then if you get the full kit then you will also get the full box checklist and then also the pattern boxes page so you can choose between the mini kit and the full kit in my shop so i'm going to be using that for the first week of June and with that I just pulled a few um, little elements from Harriet Wright Designs. These are the spring line arts as well as the butterflies. Um, I got these in a $2 Tuesday so what I did was I just added those little elements to the full boxes and when I do my spread I'll be adding these as well along with the floral. So that is my plan for the first week. I really like having the month and the week kind of match in the so that's the first one that I'm going to be using in my memory planner for June. And then here I do have um, a kit from Paper Crown Planner. So this one is called Spring Bloom. 
Since she doesn't write the name on the kit, um, I do like to write it down here so it helps me out. And I'm planning on using a silver foil with this one. I feel like gold would also look good with this, but I just wanted to use silver. I haven't used silver too much lately. So this one has um, a very pink theme to it. And again, it has the butterfly. So that's why I wanted to use it right after my Mason floral kit. But I do think that this is really pretty, very soft colors. So this is a rather full kit. I really like the bottom washi as well super pretty. So I got this quite a while ago, so I'm really excited to finally get to use it. Um, it's definitely a more girly kit, so I think it'll look really nice, especially um, against this planner that I'm using. I'm using the Oristel Pink Paw, one of the new Leopard Lux. So I think it's really cute. So um, I'm going to be pulling in a lot of the deco that comes with this kit. And then alongside that, I did also pull out some of these Harriet Wright Designs decos in the silver once again. So um, these are really cute and dainty. So I feel like they'll match really nicely with this kit. So that is for week 23. And then since I love the florals at the moment, I am going to be using my other floral kit in my shop. This one is called the Samantha. So again, I pulled out the floral deco, which I love I just think it's so so pretty so you can add this to your order um, and then what I did was I actually chose gold and I did the frames once again in the overlays so you have all the full boxes here once again and then look at this bottom washi I think it's so cute I really like the this kind of like pinky color with the soft yellow I think it's just so pretty so these are all the colors that are in the kit you have a couple of different pinks in there which I think is really really pretty and then I love this pop of green I think it's so cute so if you get the full kits you'll get the full boxes as well as the pattern boxes I'm in love with this page I think it's so pretty so that is the next kit that I want to use. And again, I pulled out some more things from Harry Wright Designs. Um, they have a lot of like the bows and the florals that I'm trying to go for with this kit. So I'm going to be pulling these two with it as well, along with the deco. I think it's going to turn out really pretty and I'm excited to see how this works because this is some of my favorite floral artwork. It's just so beautiful. I just love the pink and green. And again, once you throw in that kind of soft yellow, I just think it comes together really well. Okay, so next up for week 25, I have another kit from my shop. This one is called A Scandalous Affair. So if you guys are into historical romance novels, or if you like TV shows like the Bridgerton series, then you'll probably like this kit. This is one of my favorite kits that I've done. Um, again, I put the frames, overlays on top, and that's in gold. I thought that the gold matched really well. So you kind of have a vintage kind of castle princess-like theme to this. I think it's just so gorgeous and these florals are to die for. So I really like this. And again, I pulled in the deco because I really, really love the deco in this. I think it's just so pretty. I am going to use all of this in my spread for sure. So this is what the full boxes look like in A Scandalous Affair. And then I love the bottom washi. I just love this kind of like old paper look. It looks like it's a little bit aged, but the florals just make it seem more modern. It's just so gorgeous. So I just love the colors. You have like a lilac pink, a baby pink, um, a warmer buttercream yellow, and then also a corally pink. It's just so gorgeous. So this is your functional page there. Again, lots of florals there, lots of this kind of aged paper look love it and then if you order the full kit you'll get the extra page of boxes and then i love this page it's so pretty i love how i did the full boxes this time i just think that this lilac background with the florals is just so pretty so that is what i'm going to be using for week 25 and again i pulled out some more florals from Harriet Wright Designs that I want to use again in the gold foiling. So these boxes I think are really pretty. They're kind of like fancy frames so I feel like they kind of match the whole um, thing I'm going for and I have a few more of those in this little freebie as well. 
So that is the next kit that I'm going to be using. And then for the last kit, um, I'm going to be using the Sunday Brunch Kit once again. So I've actually already used this kit in my B6 Stalogy and I love it so much. I love the colors, I love the art. So I want to use it again in my memory planner. So um, again, you have the deco that you can add on to your order and I added the fancy frames here with the Silver Hollow. I feel like Silver Hollow is just so perfect for this kit. So you have the double box scene there and then all these beautiful colors. I just love it. So I want to use it again. So here we go. And then we have the this bottom wash here. I'm in love with this pattern as well. It's so pretty. So yeah, as you guys can see, this is a very pastel kit and I think that's why I gravitate to it so much. It's just so easy to decorate with and I think it's gonna look beautiful in my a5 wide. I just loved how it looked like in my B6 Stalogy so much that I want to use it again. So this is what the kit looks like. You have all these beautiful pattern boxes and then also your full box checklist. So I have all that that I'm going to be using from my shop and then I pulled more from Harrier Wright Designs. Um, I had these um, floral decos that I had used previously but I still have quite a bit and I feel like the colors would match pretty nicely so I'm gonna try and finish up this sheet with it and then I do also have a silver hollow um, sampler here that I'm going to be using with it. So those are all the kits that I'm going to be using in my memory planner. I'm really excited about this upcoming month. I have a lot going on so I think the plans are going to be really great too. Um, so now that we have done what I want to do in my memory planner, I'm going to move on to my B6 Stalogy. So um, this is what I'm currently using to house my stuff. And let's start with the monthly kit. So I'm going to be using this journaling kit from Aribea Shop. I do have a referral code to her shop so you can find that down below and this is the magic mouse monthly kit it's one of her journaling kits and i'm really into disney especially at the moment so i really want to use this it actually comes with quite a lot here so um, this is more of like a journaling style kit so if you guys watched my may setup um, you may have seen me use the sakura cherry blossom kit already in my Stalogy. So I really liked how that turned out. So um, I'm going to be using this one as well just to set up the month. So I'm excited to use that as my kind of like monthly setup. And then for the first actual week, I want to use my Daisy kit. So um, this kit is from my shop once again. It's called Daisy Love and I'm using the mini kits. So the mini kits only come with the four pages and this is a great kit to use if you are using smaller planners like a B6, Personal Wide, A6 planner or pocket. I just find that you have just enough stickers to last you the whole entire week. You may even be able to use it for a couple of weeks depending on your planning style. So these are the full boxes of that kit and I just really love the double box here and I really love the whole self-care theme. I think self-care is so important and so I wanted to do a kit that kind of reminds you to take care of yourself. So this kind of has a spa day theme to it. It's really, really pretty. I love the colors. And then this is the bottom washi. You do also get an extra box here. And then you have your sidebars, all your functional aspects here with your headers, your flags, your checklist flags. And then you do also get a full page of your fancy boxes. So these are all scallops. You have some minimal boxes. So for the next week, week 23 in my B6 Stalogy, I want to use this kit. And I wrote down the name because she doesn't write it here. Um, it's called Moon Prism. And what I did was I added these gemstone overlays. These are from Rose Colored Days once again in the silver. And this one kind of has a Sailor Moon and rainbow theme to it. So I just love the art. I think it's so fun, so vibrant. And since June is Pride Month, um, I wanted to have a rainbow kit. So this one has quite a lot of bright colors. It's very, very colorful. So that's why I wanted to use it. So I added some overlays to the headers that I'll be using as well. So this is a very, very large kit. I'm definitely not going to be able to use everything in my B6 Stalogy. I can always 
create dailies as well with these stickers so I really like that but it's a very full kit and I haven't been able to use too many pink planner shop kits in my planner so um, this is going to be fun for me to try so that is the kit that I'm going to be using to kind of celebrate pride month and then um, next up I'm going to be using another kit from my shop this is called lighthouse so you have the double box there and you have a beautiful fashion girl I love this artwork and then you have the beautiful ocean bottom washi which I think is so so pretty so again this is just the mini kit you get four pages in this kit we have a full page of your boxes and layering bits here at the bottom you have your functional page with all your headers all the different size of flags and your checklist and then you get nine full boxes you get eight on this page and then one extra one on this page so that's what I'm going to be using next and then I do have another kit from pink planner shop um, this one is called cat cafe I wrote it down there and I'm using gold hollow overlays with this one just to kind of spice it up again I really like this artwork again it's quite a full kit I added this overlay and then these ones are ones I added as well. Those are the doodle hearts from Rose Color Days. So you have a bunch of different tall girl boxes in all the skin tones and hair colors, which I think is really nice. So again, a very full kit. I'm probably not going to need all of this in a B6 Stylogy size, but you never know. I may decide to do a daily this week. So I have that. And then for the final kit in June, I'm going to be using another mini kit for my shop. This one is called Botanica. I have the basic frames in the silver hollow overlays from Rose Colored Days on there. And this kit is very serene, very pastel, very light colors. Um, and it also has a very nice planner or kind of um, like office theme to it, which I think is really nice. So these are the full boxes. And then you get the alternate fashion girl here on this page. And then you have the split bottom washi, really pretty. I really like the bottom washi because it has the stripes and I feel like it offsets the florals that are in this kit really well. So um, I really like that. And then you have your fancy box page here with the light colors and then your functional page as well. So ideally I would love to use mini kits um, in my Stalogy all the time. Um, it just depends if I'm going to be having a daily. So. Yeah, those are all the kits that I'm going to be using in my Stalogy as well as my memory planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are interested in the inserts or any of the stickers that I've shown here from my shop, you guys can use the code SAVE10 to save 10% off. And I will leave any of my other PR codes and referral links to other shops that I've mentioned here down below for you guys to check out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and will look forward to my future plan with me's with the kits that I'm going to be using. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please do consider subscribing. And don't forget to like and comment. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.